guys, it's Ellie and welcome to today's YouTube video. I apologize, this is gonna kind of go in and out of focus right now just because of where I'm seated, but this is a better place for me to record right now. So, uh, this isn't great news, but it's news and I suppose some news is better than no news. And I haven't been writing is the bad news. I have kind of been writing on and off, but nowhere near as consistently as I was before. Nowhere near the almost 90,000 words that I had reached. I have kind of slacked off. And the reason for that, and when I started to slack off, I noticed and I knew what I was doing, but I allowed myself to do it anyways. I had gotten to a point in Heat, the novel that I'm currently working on, currently working on, uh, there was a point where I realized that what I had done was irredeemable. I couldn't fix where the story was going. It was going to be far too long, far too convoluted. I was losing track of ties and I wouldn't be able to tie it up at the end and I wouldn't be able to keep track of all of the minor plots going on and none of the minor plots were really affecting the major plot in the way that they should have been and I was just coming to the realization slowly each day that I was writing that I was gonna have to start completely from scratch to begin with. So I gave myself a week. I said to myself, hey, self, I can't actually write this novel the way that it's currently going. I'm going to have to completely start over. So I'm gonna take a week from writing, step back from the story, keep the characters and what I had written in the back of my mind, and then come back to it at the end of the week. And of course, at the end of the week, I didn't come back. It's kind of been a project now where I have restarted it two or three times already. So I have kind of been writing, but I've been restarting it two or three times and none of it has felt normal or natural because the character that I'm starting over with is the character that has already been developed, has already gone through all of the things that she went through in the first iteration of the novel. It's not the same base character that I didn't know anything about. And it's hard for me to go back and write something pretending that none of the stuff has already happened. And unfortunately, that's the way it has to be. The stuff that she's been through cannot have happened when I'm writing her now. And that's causing me a lot of problems because I am writing, as I said, a character who is almost completely fully developed already. And you can't start a novel with a character who's already completely developed. That's just not how it works. It's a boring story. So I've been trying really hard to try to find a way to restart the novel that allows me to have a blank slate and go back to Rasha and kind of figure out who she was before everything happened. And I do want to finish this because I always think when I when I consider not writing this novel, the first thing that hits me is how many people I will be letting down if I don't try. How I will be letting myself down if I don't try. Because this is a situation that I might never get again. And if I don't write this story, I will be losing a chance that I might never ever get again. And I can't let go of that. I'm giving myself a little bit of leniency with the time frame. I can always be in an email that I send to her when I finish this novel, hey, by the way, I got to talk to you at such and such writing center when you came to visit. And she probably won't remember me, but it'll at least be a little bit of a reminder that she was interested in this story just to jog her memory a little bit. So we'll see, I have to write this novel. I have to, I have to, I have to, I have to. I just don't know when I'm gonna really get the ball rolling again and how I'm gonna figure out how to start over. So I will see you guys again next month. And until then, peace out guys and have a wonderful day and happy writing.